suppose we have an object with a mass m equal to, say, 5 kilograms, and we apply two constant forces to this object. We apply a force in the positive x direction. Let's call this force F1. And let's say that force has a magnitude of 50 newtons. If we apply a force of 25 newtons in the opposite direction, and we'll call this F2, and it has a magnitude of 25 newtons, we want to know if we have this object with a 5 kilogram mass subject to these two forces, what is the acceleration of this object? That is, what is the acceleration? Now to find the answer, we need to apply Newton's second law, which says that if you add up all the forces acting on an object, it's going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. Now in this case, there are two forces acting on this object. There's a force in the positive x direction, which we called F1, and that has a magnitude of 50 newtons. Now we have another force that's opposing that motion, which I'll draw right next to it, which we called F2, and that has a force of 25 newtons. Now what we want to do is find the net force, the difference in these two forces, because it's going to be the difference in the two forces that cause this object to move. Now in this case, if I draw a vector from this point to the tip of F2, we'll call this the sum of these two forces, and this is going to be the net force acting on this object. This is going to be the force causing this object to move, and what we should see is that it's not only moving, but it's moving in the positive x direction. So objects accelerate in the direction of the net force acting upon them. So in this case, we just, as we just stated, we have two forces acting on this object. We have force F1 and we have force F2. Now force F1 pulls this object in the positive x direction, so I'm going to add this. And then force F2 opposes this motion or acts in the opposite direction, so I'm going to subtract this force. Now in this case, these two forces are going to add up to the mass times the acceleration of the object. And just before we do anything further, let me just clarify. This force acts in the opposite direction of F2, and that's why I'm subtracting it from the force F1. So this force acts in the opposite direction. Now in this case, to find the acceleration of this object, we've already said that F1 minus force F2 is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And again, this is the net force acting on this object. This is the force that's going to cause this object to accelerate. Now in this case, I'm looking for the acceleration, so I'm going to divide both sides by the mass. And when I do that, notice that this unit of mass cancels out with this unit of mass, and I get an equation that looks like the acceleration equals force 1 minus force 2 divided by the mass. Now in this case, we said that force F1 was equal to 50 newtons, force F2 was equal to 25 newtons, and the mass of this object was 5 kilograms. And now when you simplify this, you get 50 newtons minus 25 newtons, which works out to be 25 newtons, divided by 5 kilograms. 25 newtons divided by 5 kilograms is going to work out to be 5 meters per second squared. A newton divided by a kilogram is a meter per second squared. Now just to summarize what this means, so we found that when these two forces act on this object, it's going to cause this object to accelerate or to speed up, to change its velocity. And the thing that you should notice is that the acceleration is in the direction of the net force. And in this case, when these two forces act on this object, it's going to accelerate at a rate of 5 meters per second squared in the positive x direction, in the same direction as the net force.